Hey everybody, so one of the biggest questions I get is about this topic and ever since coming up with Zontrack, we're able to track Amazon sales automatically that are coming to from Facebook ads. Whether it's beginners or advanced people, they've been asking this question, can you do the same thing for Google ads, YouTube ads or other types of ads? And I'm going to show you a way where you can do this for free. Zontrack can help in part of it, but there's just this hack where I think you've always been able to do this, but I just haven't heard anybody talk about it and uh, just really had to think about it and have different discussions with people to realize that this actually works. So this allows you to run your Google ads for uh, the ultimate goal of having Amazon sales, but tracking that. And you could do it in certain ways, you can just running the ads to Amazon and using different tracking parameters or at really high budgets, you're able to upload offline conversions into Google as well, but it's limited how Amazon gives data and Google receives it, so it's not like Amazon to Facebook. But basically, here's the way how you run Google Ads, YouTube Ads, and you're able to know which ads are leading to Amazon sales. And there's a couple of biases here, so this is not perfect, but it's probably the, <laughs> like the only hack we have right now to be able to do this. So uh, there's two parts of this, and you'll see why Facebook is actually part of this, because that's like the hack part of it. But so you run your Google or your YouTube ad, and you, you do it one of two ways. Uh, it's up to you. You either have your URL, your destination here, has the Facebook pixeled. So basically that, that link click is pixeled with the Facebook in there. So using pixel find or some sort of tool where that ad, the destination, it's kind of it's building up your Facebook audience as you're running the destination, or you're sending it to a landing page, or a thirty part a third party website wherever it is. So either embedding the Facebook pixel link into this other type of page if it's not directly to Amazon, or to your own landing page if you're growing your email list, if you're uh, have, have content and have different sequences of videos or content. So it's your landing page, and then that is pixeled with Facebook. So in all of these scenarios. You're running your ads, they're getting pixeled by Facebook, you're sending to Amazon, some of them are leading to Amazon purchases, and here, like the URL to Amazon here, here, it's whatever you want, two-step to your product listing, just anything works in this case, so that's up to you figuring out that part of the strategy. But you're getting some Amazon sales, and then that Amazon sales data is going to Facebook, and you can do it in two ways. Do it automatically with Zontracker, so kind of tracking the Amazon sales automatically, or just upload the, the upload a certain report. You have that data of um, who the customers are. Like transform the data sheet in different ways. Put that into Facebook. So kind of lots of steps there, but you can do it manually for free or um, automatically with Zon Tracker. But basically, Facebook has the Amazon purchase data. But one thing it doesn't know is how to show you that data. So which ad led to the purchase and um, exactly like what are those those customers those orders so this is where the second part comes in you run a Facebook ad at the same time as all of this after this is started but then at the same time a Facebook ad where you're retargeting everybody who kind of fired this pixel so this event where somebody hit this URL from this ad or this landing page basically it's a retargeting ad to everybody who visited here and then this is kind of like the like the weird part, this is the hack, but you're paying attention to view attribution because we don't care who's clicking this ad where they're doing this ad. You Basically, this ad is pointing to anywhere. It doesn't matter. You could have a strategy for this part, but that's not the main goal of here. So you're running the ad to, the, to this pixeled audience and whoever sees the ad means that they were pixeled, meaning they saw the Google or the YouTube ad and then for this Amazon sales data, you're giving a place where you can actually now see the data. So then you have your row of here's your Facebook ad and then here's view attribution, meaning somebody viewed this ad and they were an Amazon customer. The viewed part is that they came from one of these ads, they saw this URL or this landing page. They're in the view attribution as Facebook sees it. And there, this Amazon sales data that you link to Amazon, either manually or through Zon Tracker. So that's it. Like if you didn't understand that, then maybe it's like way too advanced. But that's how you can start testing this. You can get more advanced, where basically, if you have twenty different ads, 
So you have 20 different Google ads, YouTube ads, you're testing different variations. You want to know what to cut to, know where to put the budget. That's usually what you do in all the ads. You test as many variants as possible. But each one has to have a different pixel URL. Uh, so that way you know it's, it's different. A different landing page, different pixel, different custom audience, different custom conversion event. There has to be something different about this pixel part of it that's associated to a different ad. So you have 20 ads, you have 20 unique uh, pixeled assets here, whether it's the URL or the landing page. So then this ad, it has to be a different ad. Each one different ad is associated with a different Google or YouTube ad. So that way, each of the different, the, you have 20 Facebook ads here that are doing the retargeting, and the retargeting is for this exact audience that's just for one of the 20 ads. So then, a different ad means it's a different pixel link and it's a different unique purchase. You're gonna see in Facebook 20 different ads, which one had a view attribution, meaning that they purchased from Amazon and it came from the exact YouTube ad. So then you know, based on, it's kind of like work around away from Facebook ads to, um, from Amazon to Google, which ads to turn off here. So there it is, there's, uh, again, there's like lots of extra steps, lots of inefficiencies there, but that's like the only way you can do it. There's, there's some things you can do here that's way more efficient. You know, if like you're using certain coupon codes tracking or based off like this process, affiliate links, Amazon affiliate links, um, again, you have to do that carefully, but you'll have a lot more accuracy doing, um, like knowing here. But some advantages of doing it this way is you can get way more creative, way more creative where you could run these ads to whatever destination you want as long as you're pixel and then link click to third parties, to influencers where something is happening there and then you're retargeting here and then you're seeing this Google Amazon purchase data through like all of these pathways that happen through these other scenarios. You could do this for Twitter, Pinterest, um, LinkedIn, other channels as well for, for Amazon. It's just this is the advertising channel but you're kind of adding this, this Facebook step in there. All right, hope that was helpful for you guys and let me know if anybody tested, uh, if you're having success with that. All right, thanks.